This is the result of a glacial lake outburst flood in Alaska. And these are the scenes from a flood in India, where officials say at least 100 people were killed. Glacial lake outburst floods are the result of water suddenly exiting a glacier-fed lake because of the failure of a natural dam of ice or rock or because something fell into that lake displacing the water. And as you've seen, the results can be catastrophic. So could this happen here in Canada? Well, the co-author of one study hypothesizes that risk is on the rise worldwide as glaciers melt faster and faster due to climate change. Floods might be much, much larger in the future because simply because there's more water um, stored in, in the lakes. Imagine hiking in a Rocky Mountain or British Columbia Valley when suddenly a wall of water rushes your way. It might sound unimaginable, but that's actually exactly what happened in Jasper National Park in 2012. The Ghost Glacier essentially in its entirety fell off and it landed in the lake. In August that year at Mount Edith Cavell, a hanging glacier fell into a tarn below. The outburst destroyed trails, roadways and buildings, and surge marks more than one and a half meters high were observed downstream. Luckily, it happened overnight and nobody was hurt. We would have called it a mass casualty incident had it happened in uh, summertime for sure, or during the day in summer particularly. So could it happen again in Canada and is risk really on the rise? Well, as more people find their way into the outdoors, the Canadian government is interested in finding out. A federally funded research project is underway in Joffrey Lakes Park in BC, examining the hazards of deglaciation, among them glacial lake outburst floods. What we learned from Joffrey, we're hoping to be able to carry out to larger areas within the South Coast Mountains and into the Rocky Mountains. 